My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, I'm Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today we're putting a spin on a boring old burger. Today we're going to be making an ahi tuna burger. You're going to love, love, love it. Look at my wine glass. I could almost pour a whole bottle of wine in here. But it's still only a glass, right? <laughs> mm. I have a wonderful Oregon Pinot, which you're going to love too. But let's get started. I have some fresh ahi tuna here that is beautiful. We're just going to cut it up. Um, and we're going to throw it in the food processor and we're going to make it like it's almost ground meat, right? Like it's like burger meat. So right here we go. Let's throw this in and we're going to pulse this until we get some nice burger meat out of it. Ready? There we go. And I did this for a, a pool party. I hosted a pool party in Palm Springs and it was a rave hit. Every, everybody loved it. Look at this. Just a few more, I think. Get on there. Thank you. There we go. We are done. And that's the consistency you're gonna want with this. It looks like ground beef right now, right? Now we're gonna start adding all the flavor. So let's get this in a bowl. We got our fresh ground ahi in the bowl here. I have two scallions chopped up really, really fine in there too. Let's get our wet ingredients going. We want a tablespoon of sesame oil. This will give tons of tons of flavor to it. Um, and then we want a tablespoon of some soy sauce. There we go. And then let's get in here some fresh ground ginger and a garlic clove. And don't forget all the exact ingredients are going to be down below in the description center. So the measurements and everything will be right down there. So. We got all the wet ingredients, and what was in the bowl, which I didn't say, was an egg and a tablespoon of mayonnaise. That was also in here. So let's just put that right into our fresh, fresh ahi. Get that aside. We got some wonderful cilantro in there, and we've got a half cup of panko. But before I put the panko in, let me combine these wet ingredients. There we go. Look at that. That is lovely. You know what this reminds me of? This just reminds me of a sushi burger. I call it my sushi burger because it's everything you get when you go, go, you know, get your sushi. You got your ahi tuna and here's your panko. Your panko right in, about a half cup of panko. And let's get some salt in there. Don't forget, we got a salt. Got to get some flavor in there with our salt. Okay. Perfect. And so what we'll do, we'll combine all this. Well, it smells really, really. That sesame oil has a very strong, strong flavor to it. And it just gives phenomenal, phenomenal taste to these burgers. So I'm going to... Make four patties and let's start frying it up in the pan. Okay, our tuna burgers are ready to be thrown in the pan here. I got some olive oil heating up. So let's get them in the pan. Okay, they are gonna go pretty fast. They are gonna go for about three minutes on one side, three minutes on the other side for nice and juicy in the middle. If you'd like it a little more on the rare side, you can um, go for like three and two, 
These are an ahi tuna burger, so they can definitely be pink in the middle. And a little on the rare side is always my preference. Back to my wine, we have this awesome Ilouan Pinawa from Oregon. And why I picked this with the tuna burgers and a red wine is this Pinot is very light. It's very burgundy style, so meaning French Pinot, which is a little lighter on the alcohol. It has wonderful strawberry notes. And uh, the oak is very, very mild. It just cuts perfectly through all the different flavors going on through the ahi tuna. Mm. Oh, you're going to love it. I swear you're going to love it. I love it. I'm ready for another glass. Okay, let that go. We'll flip it over in three minutes and another three minutes. And let's plate up those burgers. My ahi tuna burger is stacked and ready to eat. Just to tell you what's on it, I made some wasabi aioli. Really easy, the directions are right down below with some fresh wasabi, mayonnaise, and honey, and lemon. So I stacked the tomato with some butter lettuce, red onion, avocado, tomato, and my wasabi aioli. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. Look at this, look at that. My gosh. Okay, I'm ready. This is a big bite. Mmm. My God. Mmm. So much flavor. Mmm. You can taste that ginger and the sesame oil. Mmm. It is so good. Don't forget to pair it with this Pinot from Oregon. And you will be a happy camper, I guarantee you. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you know what I'm doing next week. Thanks for stopping by Wine and Dine.